Hello, happy Friday. Thank you for joining me tonight, everyone. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery kits. And I am here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And it's a time when we can relax and craft and work on a project together. And we typically work on projects for about an hour in the evening and we work on them from beginning to end. Uh, we don't do it all in, in that one hour, but we work you know, every evening here to get a project done. And tonight is Finish It Friday. Uh, it's a special Friday. Uh, every first Friday of the new month, uh, we have a day where we just stop all the projects, all our obligations, all the projects that we're working on, and grab a project that is unfinished and work on that instead, just to get a little headway on something that we don't have done. And something that I have had sitting around, I actually have not started this project yet, but it is on my to-do list to do. I am making a baby quilt for a friend who's gonna have a baby really soon here. So that is my plan tonight, is to at least start this little baby quilt. And I had a whole plan on how I was gonna make this really fast, but the more I think it through and while I was setting up today, I, I'm gonna change it up a little bit. So <laughs> it, it probably won't get done tonight, but we will make um, some pretty good headway on it. So I'm gonna flip you guys around and we'll get started. But I'd love to hear if you're doing a Finish It Friday project tonight, uh, let me know what you're working on. And I'm gonna kind of walk you through my thinking of, of this project here. Uh, it's in the theoretical stage. I, I'm going to try and practice some of the things we've been learning lately. I'm going to try and practice my free motion quilting with it. And I think I'm going to do a self-binding uh, binding for it, where we take the back of the quilt and use it as the binding, because uh, that's what we want to try for the Charming Chevrons quilt uh, when we do that in uh, on Monday. And this will be kind of like a little practice a session for that. So a bunch of new new things, playing with what we've learned. So all right, I'm gonna tell you my plan. I'll flip you around and we'll get started. Okay, so here we are. Uh, so here's what I got for the quilt. I happen to have a this cute purple fabric. I didn't, like a horrible person, I did not iron it. <laughs> uh, but I have this purple fabric, I think I unfolded it and it was about uh, maybe, I think it was like a two yard cut of fabric or a one and a half yard cut of fabric, but whatever it was, it was a perfect size for a baby quilt. So I then had uh, this purple or this uh, polka dotted fleece and I have a bolt of this. So I thought that this could be the back. So I've already cut the back all right, I've already cut this piece of fleece to be the same size as this purple fabric. And it's just so cute. Like this, this purple is like the exact same color as this. So what my original idea was that I was going to take these two pieces and uh, I was not going to do a batting for the quilt. It was just going to be this fluffy, poofy fleece and uh, this um, uh, quilting weight cotton. So originally I was gonna sew around the outside of the whole piece and then turn it right side out. And uh, um, then uh, like tack down the sides. But instead, I think I'm gonna do this. So I, I just kinda wanna show you. Instead, I think I'm going to start by quilting it. And then I think we're gonna do a self, a self, um, contained basically binding, which means uh, when I'm done, I think I'm going to, I'm going to cut this down so uh, it's smaller than, smaller than the purple fabric. So like by an inch. So we're going to end up with something like this after I quilt it. And then we'll do the thing where we fold it in once and then again, and we'll take our wonder clips and we will, um, we will, uh, I saw a fun way of doing this online to flip this open. There, kind of like that. But yeah, I'll get the binder clips or the, the wonder clips. There we go. And we'll go around and make our binding this way instead. So I think, I think this is the way I'm going to do it instead of doing, sewing all the way around and turning it right side out. So a little change in plan. I think it's going to take a little bit longer but um, 
at the same time, it's going to allow us to quilt right away. So, uh, so I'm just going to leave these two pieces together like this. And uh, I'm going to, I'll take my um, little safety pins and I'll pin it a little bit. I don't think we need a ton of pinning because it is kind of gripping. This front fabric is gripping to this back fabric a little bit. Isn't this cute though? So I'm going to, um, I think this is actually supposed to be the front of the fabric, but this wrong side is so, it looks just softer and cuter. So I'm going to actually make this the, the right side of it. So all, all I have to do is really quilt this top and then we'll do that self flipping binding. But I want to do something special for the quilting. And uh, I have this yarn and I wanted to do, oh, there's no end to this. Oh, here it is. Um, I wanted to do where we like couch the fabric down with that neat new um, quilting foot that I got. And I want to do like little little stars all, all over it with, um, so there's kind of a star, <laughs> with this white fabric. I think this, the white kind of implies stars and I think it'll go together with this white on the front. So I think it'll bring it all together a little bit. Um, I kind of want to, so here's that little sample piece that we did when we were testing out that new foot. Uh, I, I kind of like this effect. So this is, um, we've gone around each leaf twice and it, we get like this nice, fun, sketchy, thick line. So I'm thinking of doing the same thing, but with stars. So I'll show you my little, my little thought process here. So this is kind of what I was uh, thinking. So at first I was like, okay, maybe I'll do the whole thing, like little swirls that go into stars and the whole thing is with the yarn. But then I was thinking, maybe I just want to do stars, like individual stars that we go around twice. And then I cut and then I tuck in those threads later and I just move on to the next star. And then I go back when I'm done and add like a little swirl without the yarn, just with the normal thread, just all around in there. And it wouldn't even have to be a swirl, but some sort of filler around all the stars. So I think this is the idea that I like. Uh, and I kind of like these kind of open stars, not the ones that with the lines going all the way through. So this is kind of where I'm at now in my thought process. So I guess what I'd want to do is I want to draw some of these stars like this. I just want to draw them on here and then put pins around them because I want the pins out of my way. I don't want to have a pin here when I want to, when I want to stitch through it. So I thought I'd kind of draw them out first onto this fabric and give it a go. And then we'll just test. We'll do a little test on a scrap of this yarn, see if it works. <laughs> and if so, we'll, we'll at least get these stars quilted tonight, I'm hoping. Um, ideally, it'd be fun if I could start on these little swirls as well. It'd be nice if I could start on these swirls as well. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, so I won't get the whole quilt done tonight, but I will be moving it along way farther than it would be without um, this finish it Friday. So, all right, I kind of have this fabric centered. Uh, it's gonna be okay with whatever we end up with. I'm actually gonna wash this uh, before I give it to her. So I'm not worried about all these folds right now. So I'm just gonna start, let's draw some big, big stars on here. I just wanna kind of get, get the idea going. And I like these kind of wonky stars where they're not, it's not, they're not all perfectly like equilateral or, or anything like that. So this is just going to help me, you know, guide me with where I put that yarn. And I like these kind of big stars. We can do different sizes here. So, okay, I'm going to just, we'll go up a little higher and we'll fill in this space a little bit. Let's add, maybe there's a littler star here. I think it's going to be really cute. Oh, so I should mention, I'm doing stars because that is going to be the theme of the nursery. They've, um, they've painted like a whole, their whole wall, they've painted like this blue and purple, um, like outer space and they're going to put stars all over it. So I thought stars, if I turned this quilt into a star quilt, it would be pretty cute. Oh, you pulled out a small wall hanging that you just need to sandwich and finish up. Oh, that's awesome, Lucy. It's just, it just feels good to break out, to have an excuse to break out a project that, um, 
you know, a project that was just hanging out here, you know, hanging out and needs to get done. So I don't, I don't need to put a ton of stars on here either. I don't need to make it more difficult for myself, I don't think. But I want to get a few. This is going to be a pretty good sized baby blanket. I think that's, we got one, two, three. I'm going to throw some pins in here right away. So I'll take, after I do these, these, um, the, uh, stars, after I actually quilt them, I'll take these pins out. But for now, I think this is going to just help me hold things together a little bit. So these are basting, basting safety pins. They have a little, little curve in them. And, um, and I think they'll be good. Oh, the, and the fleece, our planets. Oh, I love that, Bonnie. Yeah, that, they'll look like little planets, the little, um, the little circles, won't they? Ooh, come on. So I have not quilted, well, as you know, <laughs> if you've been with me, I've done very little uh, free motion quilting just on that one, the Charming Chevron's quilt. So I have not, I've not quilted or free motion quilted with, um, fleece. So we'll see how that goes. I think we'll be okay though. We're gonna, it's always fun to learn something while, while you're working on a project and that's what we're gonna, we're gonna figure out with this project, how well, um, how easy it is to free motion with, uh, with fleece and no batting. All right. You know what? I'm almost tempted to do these three and then draw some more and, and pin some more, but you know what, maybe we should, um, maybe we should pin a few more here, like zoom up there. I can always add more, I suppose. I'm gonna add some more pins though, for the time being. Let's add a, one more pin over here. I just wanted to draw them on first because I don't want to get the pins in the way of, of my stitching. So I figured if I draw them first, that will help me out. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of scooch this up. There's a big star here. Let's put a big star up here. Oh, you found a Facebook group, uh, Robin, called Free Motion Quilting Challenge. They have tons of free motion quilting designs in their files. Ooh, that that is something I'm gonna have to check out for sure. It's a whole whole new world here opened up with the free motion quilting <laughs> for sure. All right, just kind of spreading that out as much as I can, I think. Get some pins up here. Oh, this is a good half of the quilt already. So we can, we'll draw a few more stars on here. We'll finish it up. Yeah, it's a little annoying <laughs> with these folds in here, but like I said, I'm, I'm gonna be washing this uh, pretty quickly when I'm done here. Let's spread this up. So I'm totally in the shot here. Okay. I think that will do. Let's get some more stars. We need a nice big one right here, I think. Oop. Broke my lead there. This one's a a cute fat star. <laughs> They're all a little different, which is kind of fun. So this is just a kind of a guide. Um, all right, let's put a little one, maybe. Boop, 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 boop. We'll go right here. Yeah, Marianne, in theory, I should have ironed first, but <laughs> I got everything situated on here and then I didn't want to go back to ironing. So <laughs> I'm being like super duper lazy with um, not ironing it here. I mean, yeah, it would have, 
probably been a lot, um, it would at least looked a lot better if I would have ironed it first, but that just didn't happen. If it moves a little bit, I'm not going to worry about it too much, but I would recommend if you're doing something like this to iron it all first. I just got it laid out on, on the fleece to cut the fleece, and then I didn't want to move it again. <laughs> All right, I want to get one nice one up here. I think it needs one. Oh, I keep breaking my lead here. This one's an upside down one. Can't really see it all that well, but it's just acting as a guide. Ooh, I think I'm almost out of this lead. That's sad. I'm going to have to get more lead. Oh, well, I do have the water soluble pencil too that I can get out. I think that'll do. I think let's get these guys done and then we can look at it again and um, see if there's anything we want to do. Yep, for Fridays, lazy is okay. There we go, that's great. Uh, is there other fabric, flannel, or fleece? It is, um, I have a fleece backing here. So it's just this purple quilting weight fabric and then the fleece backing, that's all I'm doing. Ooh, there feels like there's a little wiggle in here. Yeah, let's try and get that figured out. There we go. That's why I want to pin it, just because there was there's a little wrinkle in the back, and that's going to be, I don't want that. Okay, you know what? I think let's, I'll get one more over here, but let's just start here and see what happens, I think. So, all right, let's scooch all this off to the side. Oh man, this is going to be like a fuzzy, crazy town thing happening here. I'm going to be sneezing all night, I think, from all this fleece fuzz, but we'll see how it goes. So, all right, I am going to get the machine. I got the machine right here. And I'm going to uh, put my table on, too. Oops. Here we go, get this guy back on. Um, I The stars are all gonna be white, so I'm stitching it with um, this yarn. So I'm gonna just stitch it with some white thread and then stitch this larn, yarn, larn, this yarn on it too. Oh, you lost your solo today. <laughs> Well, sometimes you need a break, that's for mm -hmm. sure. Okay, so I'm gonna scooch right down in here. This is that foot, that, that de decorative quilting foot that I can put yarn right into there. We are gonna give that a try tonight, but I need to just quickly sit up. We need to get this guy on again. There we go. And let's bring that thread up to the top, that bobbin thread. There we go, got it. So we're using smaller thread tonight too than what we have been for the Charming Chevrons. This is just a normal, this is just a 50 weight. Oh, do you hear that, guys? It just started raining outside. This is just a 50 weight thread here. So I um, I have a little extra fleece. I want to use this as just a test. And you know what? I think I, I have um, I have just this scrap. We did this a long time ago when we were um, testing different stitches or when we were like learning how to do different stitches. I'm going to use that as my test. I, I'm nervous about going right on the quilt. So I'm, I'm going to do, uh, just check, check the tension and everything with this. So now I have my layer of fleece 
and my layer of um, just a quilting weight fabric. It's just a muslin. Okay, shoe has to come off. And uh, I think I need to lift this up a little bit. Yep, so let's try and get the foot up a little bit. You guys, I'll, I'll stick around as long as I can until we like lose power or something. <laughs> I, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen, but it did just start raining, so we'll see. All right, I'm gonna bring, there, I brought the bobbin thread up to the top here. Ooh, I hear thunder, do you hear thunder? It's a little rumbly outside. Oh, yes, Robin, the ants are gone, thank God. That was, ugh, the worst. Oh, I just, I got the thread up and then I lost it here. Come back, Bobbin, there you are. Yes, no more ants here in the kitchen. That's nice. Okay, both the bobbin and the top thread are up here. Let's give it a little, a couple little stitches. And man, I'm, I'm gonna need, need this guy again here. Let's see how this runs. So right now I'm just checking the tension here. Oh wow, it's funny. Um, it it feels different having the fleece. It it slides differently <laughs> than than the quilting weight fabric. So that that's kind of interesting. I might have to get the glove. Oh, it will, actually, it'll be easier once I'm on to the once I'm on the real thing here. All right, so I'm just gonna check this really quickly. From the top, it looks okay. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to tell from the bottom. Like the bottom, oh, you can kind of see. It's it's uh, kind of squishing down the, the fleece. Oh, that's cute. I like that you can see a little bit. So I don't know how I'm gonna tell if the, oh, I can kind of see. I was wondering, I, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to see how the tension was and I think it actually looks pretty dang good. Yeah, I think we're all right. So I wanna try really quickly though, before we get too far. I want to try with the yarn in here. So here's here's this yarn. Gosh, it's a mess. Where's the end even? Here we go. Ooh, it is a tangled mess. So I got this. This yarn came from my my scrap yarn bin, and it looks like I attempted to roll it up in a weird weird way last time. So we got this odd. Oh gosh, it's just a crazy knot world here. Let's keep spinning. I love when you can break out um, just stuff that you've had around forever though, like this yarn. It's just been been around for some time in my bins. Oh, is a walking foot suggested when working with fleece or minky? Ooh, Sharon, I have no idea. So I'm totally new to this. I'm just totally playing around. I have no idea what good parameters for all this would be. You know what, I think I might start, well, no, nah, let's just stick it in there, see if we can do it. I was gonna maybe start fresh. Gosh, I don't know how I'm gonna get that in. Ooh, let's, let's try the stiletto here. So there's a little hole in my foot especially for uh, little threads like this. And you know what, I think, gosh, you know what, I might have to, I think I'm gonna unattach this from the needle. And I think I might have to take the needle out to, to get this in here. Does the needle go up any higher? No, not really. So I'm gonna take the needle out. <laughs> Trying something new. Let's get a nice edge on there. And let's see if I can guide that down. This is a pretty big yarn, maybe.
maybe too big for this. We'll see. Ooh, I think we're getting it. If I can catch it from the other side, we'll be good. The trick is going to be able to keep it in here so I don't have to move it again. All right, it's in. Now let's get the needle back in there. Okay, and try and thread it. Oh, the foot is actually, Suzanne, that's a great idea, but the foot is kind of tough to get on and off. So I think it's actually easier to get this silly needle on and off than the foot. Okay, we're good. We just, um, we need to bring that thread down under again, but let's, let's get started. Let's pretend we're actually doing it here. So I need to bring the bobbin thread up again. This is definitely an extra little challenge having um, this uh, extra piece of yarn here. But I think in the end it's going to be pretty neat. All right, there, got that guy through. And now the bobbin thread pulled to the top, and we should be ready. So the deal with um, this is that we always have to have it going in the direction of our. Um, of whatever direction we're moving. Like if I have it off to the side, then it's not gonna stitch. Ooh, did I? There, so like that. And then if we need to go off to the side, like it's a star, um, I gotta kinda hold it off to the side, like that. Ooh, but see, it's starting to stitch on there. So let's um, go this way now. I'm just kind of making like a little fake star here, just to test. And then we'll just, after this is done, we'll move to the real piece. I just wanted to give it a try. Let's go all the way around this way. So I'm kind of just freehanding a star. But look, it's just being couched on there. Oh, it's going to be so cool. I think this is going to be really neat. And I think I'm going to go around twice. Like when I do this for real, I'm going to go around again like this. So it's, it's extra thick. But yeah, okay, I'm going to take this off. I think this is going to totally work. I'll show you guys it. And I'm going to leave this thread in here so I don't, um, I don't have to try and thread it in there again. But here we go. So this is kind of my test. Uh, we're just stitching, we're just tacking it down with all our stitches basically. <laughs> this is an oblong star. So this is attached. And I think when I'm done, you know, I'll have this little, these little threads here. I'm gonna just thread that onto a needle and then thread it into the inside of the quilt. So it'll just kind of go away. I'll tie it in a knot and then thread it on the inside. But look, so on the purple, this is gonna look so cute. And then on this side, it's just, you know, it still just looks fuzzy. <laughs> so yeah. Oh yeah, kind of like a chenille look for sure. So yeah, so I think this is what our stars are going to look like. And then I'm going to go back without the yarn and then add all those little uh, squiggles in, kind of like how we were talking about here. So these ones will be with the yarn. And then this I'll just go in back in later and, um, you know, just filled in without the yarn. It'll just be, it'll just be our... Um, It'll just be our thread. Okay, so let's give it a go. I want to get in here. All right, let's just go at the farthest point right here. You can kind of see my little star drawing scraped in here. Um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I need, I need to bring the bobbin thread up. All this yarn's in the way. Oops, gotta get that guy down. 
Yes, this is exactly like couching, exactly like that, Marianne. This is, this is, um, this is exactly couching. We are couching down the yarn. Oh man, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to catch the bob and thread and it's not catching, which seems to be the case. I've had a hard time getting the uh, bobbin to catch, but I think, I think I got it here. Yeah, I think we got it. There we go. All right, now I can, let's get the stiletto to do this better. Try to get that bobbin thread up to the top. Oops, that's, there we are. Okay, all of our threads are on the top now. And here's, it's a little hard to see for you guys, but here's the start of my line. I'm gonna follow that. So let's get the presser foot down. Let's get nice and flat here. Get a good surface. And all right, I think I'm gonna need these guys. But all right, the yarn has to go in the direction I wanna go. Okay, presser foot is down. Let's do it. Oh, it's thundering by you now too. All right, let's do a couple stitches just to hold everything in place to get started. Oh, there, there comes the rain now. Ooh, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need um, my other grip. Here we are. Actually, I can just kind of, since we're doing a straight line, I can kind of just lay, lay the yarn where I want to go and we'll just head in that direction. The trick is I, I need to make sure that the needle is getting the yarn. And if it doesn't, um, I'm gonna go around twice just to make a fun extra, like organic kind of thick line. And I think if we miss anything, we can get it on the second time. All right, now I'm going down this way. I think this is gonna be so cute though. I'm, I'm really excited about giving this a try. All right, now we're going up this way. Oop, gotta get, make sure I got slack in my yarn. Coordination, I need one more hand here, I think. Uh, for sure. Ah, it's cute. I like it. A little wonky star. We'll definitely go around again. I think it's gonna be kind of fun. The trick is I'm still just trying to keep everything flat here. Going back, going up this way. Let's see, where does that one end? Right here. I totally need an extra hand to guide, guide the thread. But it's totally working, I think. As long as, you know, we're not skipping stitches or something. Yay! <laughs> it's cute. I think this is just gonna end up being super sweet. And we'll have gotten to experiment with something which, you know, is like my prerequisite for crafting, really. Ooh, it, it's... I'm pulling it. It's kind of hard to move. That fleece is not as slippery as, as, um, as this quilting white cotton, I don't think. So every time we do a star, I'm going to start and stop. So we're going to, um, I might actually just leap to the next star, but we're going to have a, a long tail and that's on purpose. Cause I want to tuck that tail in. Oh, I think, I think the hubs is in his office working on stuff. 
All right, there's that corner. A couple more points, and this feller is done. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to connect all my shapes um, with this. I'm just going to do the stars. I'm going to couch down these stars, and then let them just live. And I'll tuck in the threads. And um, then, here we go. It's hard to see my lines. Then I'll quilt around it later. All right, and now I'm gonna go to the end here, and I think I am gonna go around um, around one more time, just because I think just that extra bold line will make it look kind of pretty. I think I don't think it's necessary. I just think it'll be cute. Okay, about right there, I suppose. I think I passed, passed the mark a little bit. Maybe we can couch down some of the first threads. All right, second time around. Our first wonky star is pretty much done. Like catch it all? I don't know. We'll see. It'll be interesting once I wash this to see if it stays together. I mean, in theory, it should. It's being held down with a bunch of little stitches, but who knows? I'm kind of going onto the on the inside of the star with the second second go around. Whoop. Almost fell on the floor. I like like these little goofy things where they don't end up being perfect. You get these little kind of organic shapes happening. I think that'll be kind of fun. Uh, Patricia, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea if these these um, will shrink at the same rate, the, the fabrics, if they'll shrink at the same rate, or if this yarn is going to shrink at the same rate. It's just it's a crapshoot for sure. <laughs> and I don't think the yarn is wool. Uh, it is scrap yarn. Um, it feel it's like a really, I think it might be a, like a soft acrylic. So I don't expect it to shrink much, if at all. But I suppose we'll see. If worse comes to worse, I'll just have to make another, <laughs> another one of these. But I think, I think we're going to be OK. But we'll see, I suppose. I definitely turned this into a bigger project than it needed to be, but I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm excited about testing out, you know, this couching in real life on a real project. And uh, it's just, I was really excited about this couching idea when I got this, this um, presser foot, this um, quilting foot. So I'm, I'm really excited to give it a try here. It's a good thing, though, that I'm using that fleece on the opposite side because I'm sure the quilting underneath just probably looks horrible. Um, but you won't be able to tell with all that fleece. All right, so we're coming to the end here. Okay, we're back around. And like I said, I'm just going to leave these hanging bits. I'm going to, 
I'm going to um, just put that in later. Ooh, echoing the star would be so cute. Ooh, I think I'll do that. I will, when, when I do the swirls, I will echo around that. I think that's a great idea. So here, I just want to zoom up so you guys can see. There's our first wacky little star on the back of this quilt. It's totally t attached down, but it's just like so cute. It's like pretty yarn. So, all right, let's, um, let's find the next star. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do this star next. You can kind of see it. I'm going to just lift up the presser foot. First of all, I'm going to get the needle up. Oops, there we go. I'm going to get the, my needle up and I'm going to just jump over there, kind of like how machine embroidery jumps from one place to the next. And then I'll have my long threads that I need to um, tuck in later. So I think, I think this will work just fine. Yeah, echoing inside with another thread would be cute too, I suppose. I think um, at this point I just kind of want to get it done, but I definitely want to experiment with um, this sort of thing in the future. All right, we're going to do this little star here. Get a couple stitches in there. All right, I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit again. Okay, let's do this star. Need a little grip it for some help. Okay, this is a littler one. I suppose some of them we could echo and then some we could not. Oh, begging. It's begging for a cute face. We'll see. That might be kind of fun. We'll, um, I'll get, I'll get the start of these things down and then, then we can, uh, like take everything off and see, see where we're at. Um, and then we could decide if we want to add more or, or whatever. I think. Okay, look, I got this crazy ball of yarn here. There we go. I I thought like when I was um, prepping tonight that oh it'd be fun to draw like little aliens and rocket ships and stuff too. But then I'm like, eh, maybe I'll just keep it simple, <laughs> keep it with some stars. But this couching is totally working, I think. Like, there's just potential. There's so much potential with this. When do I need this gift to gift it? Like, in a week. <laughs> like, real, real soon. So, uh, I won't have this for next time's um, Finish It Friday. But I'll, I'll be sure to take a photo. Or I'll, I'll be sure to, when I finish it, to show you guys. Because I, I don't think um, I don't think she watches. I don't think she's on Facebook, really. So, uh I don't think she'll see these Facebook lives. So once I finish it, I will, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll try and finish it this weekend. We'll see. I don't know. Um, but I'm, I got it at some point real soon here. So, um, I will, I'll definitely show you guys when I, before I get it or before I gift it. But yeah, so I think it's going to be just the stars will add some swirls. Maybe those swirls will have an extra little star or two every once in a while. And I think that'll be that. You know, it looks pretty cute with just one, two. But I think since I started with the, the two around the other one, I think let's just... I don't know, unless maybe it looks cleaner. I'm going to snip these. This yarn, that jump. Maybe it looks cleaner with just the one. But we already did two. Let's just go around again. I kind of thought that look was pretty cute, so let's just do it. Take a little bit more time, but it's good practice. So 
So I'm really just, I'm really pulling with this grip it. Ooh, that's a weird angle. So I'm guiding with the one hand and pulling with the other. Can do both, so do some with singles and some with doubles. Yeah, it's probably true. I should probably lift it up and stretch it out and see what we got going on here before going too much further, huh? After this star. Ugh, this couching is so fun though. Like I, I wanna do a whole cloth quilt. I mean, kinda like what we're doing here, but I wanna do like a huge octopus or something in yarn or I don't know something else or like a big llama in yarn or something that would be pretty dang cute but couch it all down and and at the same time be quilting quilting it I think that's just too cool I mean exactly what we're doing here now but like on a larger scale I'd like to try so this is this is a test for the future I think Ooh, that guy's getting at a funny angle Ooh, thunder, thunder and rain. All right, we're at that point. So we got two, 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 two. Oh, whole cloth. That just means instead of um like pieced like with um instead of sewing like squares or sewing patchwork together, it's just a big piece of cloth. Exactly what this is. It's just a big piece of cloth. And then you do um, you do quilting on the top, and it's all about the quilting. It's not about what fabrics you put together or, or anything. Oh, westerly! This is a westerly decorative stitching foot. So westerly is the company that makes them, and they're nice. They're they're ruler feet. So it's um it's a it's a westerly decorative ruler foot something like that um they're they're a bit taller so you can put a ruler up against it if you want to do straight lines or curved lines and this one specifically is the decorative foot because it has an extra piece of plastic in here it's not completely open it's a there's an extra piece of plastic with a smaller hole and that's what i'm guiding guiding this yarn through all right i'm going to jump to this other um we got one more we have one more uh, star down here, and then I think I'm going to take it off, and we'll take a look at it so far. So that it'll be about an hour at that point. So let's um, let's get let's get star number three done before the evening's up. See how we're see how it's going then. Then yeah, I'll probably have to work on it a bit this weekend to get it done, and and we'll just see. Okay, let's flatten this guy out. Hopefully we're, hopefully those pins are enough for holding this together. We'll see, I suppose. It might be pretty bloopy on the, when we're done. Hopefully not too much though. All right, let's go right there. Get a couple stitches to start. All right, let's, let's do it. I think I'm going to just keep going twice around just because that's what I've been doing for the for the other two. We'll just that'll just be it's the thing for this one. Ooh, did I? Yep, I captured it. Thought I missed missed the thread there, but we're fine. Oh, Gina, um, on the back is this uh, fleece. All it is is fleece. So I don't have any batting. It's just this purple quilting weight and then this uh, polka dot fleece. And that's it. And it, it feels different um, quilting. Like it doesn't slide as easily as the quilting weight fabric. Like I feel like I'm, I'm kind of have I have a little bit of drag. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to trim to finish the edges. I'm going to trim. Um, I'm going to do a self-contained binding with the purple. So I'm going to trim the the. Um, fleece so it's one inch less than than the um 
than the quilting weight fabric here, the purple, and then I'll fold it in half, and then I'll fold it in half again, and then I will sew that on. So it's a self-contained binding. So from the back, it'll just look like purple, but from the front, you'll have the fleece with this cute little purple, purple edging on it. So that's all I'm gonna do, and then I'll just machine stitch that on. So I have to make sure that, that I stay at least an inch away from the edge when I do my quilting here. But you know, for these stars, we're, we're definitely far enough away. I just have to look out when we um, start the start the like meandering swirls or whatever I decide to fill this with. Maybe I should have quilted this or pinned this down a bit better, but oh well. We're just gonna have to deal with however it's gonna be. All right, I, I can barely see the star on here yet. It could, I mean, I don't, I think it's just maybe another thing to have to deal with to use the grippets as the ruler um, right now because I'm already kind of dealing with this yarn, but ideally, yes, using the grippets as the straight edge would, would make sense, but I'm just, I'm okay with it being a, a bit wonky. I kind of like that. But if you want perfect stars, then yeah, for sure, go ahead and use your, your grip it. You know, like here, we can do one. So I'm using, I'm bumping up the grip it against my ruler edge of the presser foot. And I can use that as my guide so I can make a perfectly straight line. There, so that's, that's going to be as perfect a line as we're going to get because I'm, I'm kind of keeping it wonky here. All right, back up this way. Yeah, I like I like a little wonky. So man, it's I'm getting a lot of bulk in my um, in the the throat of my machine now. So I have to do it in little spurts. About to right there. Yes, yeah, whimsical. It's whimsical. Kind of a bear. I think I might not be keeping this flat. I might have to, well, after we do this star, I'm gonna have to go check things out and, and see how, let's rotate a little here. I'm gonna have to see <laughs> how flat this is. I mean, I might be bunching fabric up everywhere, so we might have to, I might have to take something out and, and redo it, or I might have to pin it a whole lot more. We'll see. I'm a little worried about that, but I just want to do this guy first, and then we'll we'll deal with the fallout. But I am going to take this off of the machine after I do this star. I want to go around again, but uh, I'm going to take it off so we can we can take a look at it, see what we got going on here, see if it's going to work or not, and see what the back looks like too. But let's let's go around one more time. Ugh, so cute! I love this idea of this this couching. It, it's just really, really fun. I think. Yeah, I I don't have any spray base, but that wouldn't have hurt it. I should have done that. Should have done a lot of things. I should have um, pressed it and then, yeah, and then really, I think spray basting it might have been a good idea because then it would all just hold here. I, I haven't used um, spray base before though. I always just use my my pins. And I, you know, I'm doing a lot of things I haven't done before. I haven't used fleece before. Um, you know, I haven't really, except for just a little practice done this quilting foot with the couching before, so we're just seeing where this goes. <laughs> but yeah, I think um, more basting would have probably been a really good idea. Looks 
a little crisscrossy there. That's cute. Oh, spray basting gums up the needle. So you don't you don't recommend it. Oh, maybe spray basting might have gummed up the fleece too. Maybe I don't know. I don't know how um, it reacts to fleece. I think it all comes out though when you wash it, right? Ooh, I think I missed. I think I think missed some stitches here. All right, up. Oh, oh, we gotta get all the way back there yet. Oh, here. I'm like, where am I putting this? I gotta pull this way. Ooh, that's like not catching at all. We're gonna come back this way. Here, maybe if we go at an angle, go this way a little bit. That sounds like the thunder is getting farther away and the rain went away. We're just having little spurts, little spurts of rain today. This morning it did the same thing, thundered for a little, just like low rumbles and then poured for like two minutes and then low rumbled away. Oh, you, you're, when you use um, spray base, it doesn't come up the needle. I, I've never used spray base before. I mean, I, I've heard of it. I, you know, I know people really like it and stuff. I, I just haven't, haven't used it ever. All right. So I think we're all attached. Let's call that guy done. I'm going to um, snip this. Oh, I'm really wary of taking this out of the machine, though. I'm gonna pull this through and then snip here. I don't need that much. I'm gonna snip here because then I can keep this in in the machine. There. Okay. Oops, let's snip this. Alright, let's get it out of the machine. I wanna keep it get it out of the machine, but keep keep this thread in because that was kind of a bear to um to get in. All right, snip. Yarn's there. I'll throw the yarn up here for now. Gosh, it's everywhere, this yarn. Oh, I'm gonna make knots. Okay, and let's just, let's see how this is working. Okay, <laughs> so we got three little stars in here. I think um I think we're probably okay without move. So so my thought is let me get this ladder. Okay, my thought is that we can I can take a, a hand needle and uh, like thread this yarn and then tuck it to the inside. But I think this is working. I think we got some cute little stars happening here. I think it's I think it's okay. I think I might still pin it a little bit more, um, but all in all, I think we're I think we're okay here. I mean, I might have bunched it up a little bit here, but I'm hoping that um, when I quilt it with the little swirls, it'll take care of it. And, and when I wash it, I don't think it's going to matter that I bunched it up a little bit. So let's let's look at the back. I just curious to see what it looks like there. Oh, see you can see. Ooh. We can snip these um, snip these bobbin threads where we jumped from one to the other. Uh, but there you can just barely see like a little, um, you know, a ghosting basically of these stars on this side. Oh, it's cute. I like it. All right, guys, I'm going to definitely continue. Um, I'm, I'm going to baste it a whole lot better though, I think. And then we'll draw these stars and I'm going to keep couching, keep couching these little cute stars on here. Yeah, and then I'll go around and I think we'll just do a little, kind of like how we have here, just a little light swirl with just that light color thread. So that'll be white too, but it'll be just really thin. It'll be, it'll be with this, this thread right here. 
So yay, okay guys, that is Finish It Friday. I didn't finish anything, I actually started something, but I, I'm, it, it, it's in the, it's in the to-do column, so <laughs> I am, I am getting further, further getting things done. So awesome guys, I'm gonna flip you around and uh, I'll show you what it looks like um, next to me here, and then we'll call it an evening. Hello, so, all right, I'm gonna hold it up. I'm gonna get you guys way back here though, and then I'll hold it up. Okay, so here's how, here's how big it is. Oh, it's cute, it's so little stars on there. I might even add a whole pile more, they're kind of fun. Like, you know, another one here, and then we have all the ones that we'll do further down, but I think it's really sweet. From far away, I think it looks, um, it's looking cute. I think the double line makes them stand out a little bit more too. I know I got to finish my jeans quilt. Oh, I got, I got loads of things to finish, but you know, this one has a timeline involved. <laughs> so I figured I better break this one out sooner than later. Uh, but yeah, that jean quilt, that's getting on our finish, finish it Friday list real soon here. Cause uh, I can't have a whole nother winter without that not being done. <laughs> it's so close. So uh, yeah, that'll, that might have to be our September finish it Friday and uh, maybe that'll get the ball roll, rolling on it again. But awesome guys, thank you so much for joining me again here on, on Friday, our, our Finish It Friday for August. And uh, I'm stoked about this couching, this yarn down. I'm gonna keep going with it. I think it's just such an extra fun little thing that we can do with free motion quilting. I'm super stoked about it. So I'll definitely show you this uh, once I get farther and um, I'll show you how it ends up too. So thanks again. I'll get this up on YouTube and I will see you guys on Monday. Have a fabulous weekend. Good night.